morning. This is Rosemary Jane with a Tech Talk tidbit. I don't know what time you're watching. Maybe it's nighttime. The sun is shining through my curtains this morning. And I have a tidbit for you on keeping your work accounts and personal accounts separate. So I'm going to show you how I do it, what I recommend, and then some options that you have as well. So when I'm doing anything for work, I use the Chrome web browser. That is the best browser to use for my work activities. And I make sure that I am signed in and my sync is on. Now, when I do that, I am in my work account for doing work purposes. What I love about it is Clever appears right there in the browser bar um, in the extensions. This is called an extensions menu. If it doesn't appear, you can always take your URL window and just resize it like this. It should all appear. If it's longer and they don't appear, I just want to show you that they are still there. You just have to get to them. They'll be in the top tray of the three dot menu. So either way, as long as you're signed in and syncing, you'll at least be able to get to what we pushed out at the district, read and write, and clever. Use clever to go to everything you need to get to in the district. It'll take you to the correct landing page. All right, if you're signed on and syncing and using clever, you're asking, I, the question was asked to me, what about my personal accounts? I don't want to mix my work and personal life. Well, I agree, and I don't either. I keep my personal accounts completely separate. You'll notice that I am only syncing to this, and I don't have another account signed in. What I actually recommend, I have no idea what I just clicked on. Okay. What I actually recommend is I use a second browser for my personal account. So I like Firefox. And then to be signed into your Google account on Firefox, you just go to google.com. And then when you go to google.com, the waffle appears, um, an icon with a profile appears. I switch back and forth on my Firefox browser and I pull up my personal account. That way I can get to my personal email and things like that. So I keep my personal account on a different browser. Now, if you need to get to something on Google, there's another tip for you. You can go either up here to new incognito window, or you can hold down control shift and N for uh, to open an incognito window. Or down here at the bottom, I know my icons are small, I can right click and I can go new incognito window. Point is I'm opening a new incognito window. Now here I'm going to go to uh, Google. If I wanna open Google in a Google product, but I don't want to, I always call it gum up. I don't wanna um, get my personal account um, mixed up with my work account. I like to go into an incognito window. I can sign in in incognito. So I can put in my personal email address and sign in. But then as soon as I close it, this is the, this is the benefit of it is you're quickly in your personal account. But if you accidentally close out, Incognito did not save any browser history or do anything that would um, help me get back to that. That's why I like just just use a different browser. One other thing you can do, but it's not what it's not what I do personally, but you can. When you are in, logged into Google, you can add another account. So you can add your personal account. Now, I do recommend that if you are working, no idea why that's there. Um, I do recommend that if you are working um, from home during your work hours, you're signed in and syncing to Chrome, and that is your primary account. You can always sign out and sign into your personal outside of your work hours if you just really want to use a Chrome browser. But you could just sign in to your personal account, and then um, you would be able to go between the accounts. Now, I don't like to do it, so I'm not even really going to show it. I don't like to mix my work and my personal accounts, but then it would just be down here. So you can also browse as a guest. So let's say your child needs to hop on and work on something themselves. You can click on that. And now I'm not signed in to, or syncing to my account, but a guest is in there. <clears throat> so again, that was all up here by my profile icon. I can either just quickly open a guest account for somebody else to get in. I can add an account and toggle between those. Uh, I can show you what it looks like here because I have multiple accounts there. So. That's, that's how I manage um, using my Google account for work and my personal life. I open it on a separate browser. That's my tip for you. That's what I do. But if you want to manage it all in Google, you can. So it's up to you. But that is um, how I do my Google life um, at work and at home. It's how I keep the two accounts separate. So hope you find this helpful. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.